Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Oakley, and I'm here at the American Bald Eagle Foundation in Haynes, Alaska. And I'm here with Hunter the Barred Owl and Sam, who's the Raptor Handler. We're going to talk about reasons why Hunter can hunt it. I removed a mask from Hunter's mouth not too long ago. And so today, without getting bit, I'm going to try and look to see how it's doing. And actually, I'm getting a good look at it. You can see the gray spot where I removed the mask, and there's nothing growing there. And while I've got him here, we're going to look at some of the amazing adaptations he has for hunting. So he's got this facial disc and it helps, it makes his face like one giant ear. And that way he can catch all that sound into his offset ears and he can triangulate and find his prey. So even though he's only about a pound and a half, he's got more strength in his feet than an adult man. And he's got this zygodactyl kind of toes where he's got two in the front and two in back. It gives him a really good grip, vice grip on his prey. So this toe can actually swing to the front or it can swing to the back. So he can grab with two and two or he can grab with three and one. So a really good adaptation for Hunter to be hunting is that his flight is nearly silent. He has incredibly soft feathers. If you feel them, they feel like velvet and there's actually a little bit of special velvety fuzz on the, on the sides of all the feathers. They also have a nice little fringe that allows for really silent movement of air. And silent flight's important, not only so he can swoop in and not be heard, but so that he can hear. Hearing is a really important part of these guys hunting. Behind his facial disc, is actually his ear slit. And you can see how huge it is to allow as much sound as possible to get in there. And hearing's not only important for finding prey that are out and about, these guys can hear a vole two feet deep in snow, use all their adaptations, and go in and grab them. These feathers have to be shed periodically. They have to be kept fresh, and they have to preen them, but they also grow new ones. And when they grow new ones, they come in like this, like a blood feather. And the reason that's so dark blue is there's actually a vein and an artery and a lot of blood going in there to allow the feather to grow. If they were to molt their feathers all at once, of course they couldn't fly and they couldn't hunt. Not only are these birds wise, but they have a lot of adaptations for hunting. And in the Yukon, it's important that Yukon hunt it. 